I was going to start off on a more sombre note, uh, Robbie, just uh, obviously, you know, upsetting news that came through yesterday about Jackie McNamara. Um, I suppose the only good thing that, that I know so far is that the event happened on Saturday and it's Tuesday and he's still here. I'm guessing you must have known him um, through various avenues in your career in Scotland. Yeah, and I've known Jackie for a long time, he's you know, a really great guy. My thoughts with Jackie and his family at this moment in time, very difficult period for me, but, you know, Jackie was a, 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 a lovely guy, a real fighter on the pitch, you know, had a fantastic career, probably one of the one of the best players that we've produced in this country for the last 20, 30 years. So if he shows that fighting spirit, well, I'm sure he will, then, you know, he gives himself a chance of pulling through and wishing um, We're talking to Lawrence, it's one of these things, uh, I've seen a lot of our growth, you've seen a lot of our growth, um, it doesn't come as a massive shock. They've got the quality and the, the talent to, to uh, take over anyone in this in this division, and probably uh, teams above. Aloha, oddly, although they're not in such a strong position in the league, have almost as much quality and, and, and that capability as you know to get a result when, when they need to. Yeah, look, the, both teams are very difficult to play against. Both teams play a kind of different style of football, although Aloha start to change a little bit. You know, both when they play against us here sit and make it difficult to play against, you know, hard to break down. Um, whereas Arlo are a little bit more expansive, but probably at times a little bit easier to break down, you know, so it's two different sides that look two teams that are, are hard to play against. So we know, you know, we've lost against Arlo already this season down there, difficult place to go to, tough environment, but they are so tough, but you know, if we're gonna try and get this league sewn up and win the league then we have to make sure that we we get results. When the weather's this bad and it's obviously not going to be brilliant on, on Friday, looks like more, more uh, weather fronts coming through. Is the Astro actually reasonable then because it's not going to, it's going to be a dead pitch and, and it, it yeah, will be well, too the, tricky? The, 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 has sorry, the Astro has its attributes as well. And uh, you know, when you get weather like this, then the game's going to be on, it's going to be a true run surface, it's just really the wind. So I'm not sure how the weather's going to you know, play over the next few days. We're hoping it'll die down a little bit um, and they can get a decent game of football. And Lawrence mentioned that um, the result you got Queen of the South, where again, you know, the pitch isn't necessarily conducive to the kind of football you like to play, but crucially and, and psychologically, you've got that result, so you know you can go anywhere on that kind of surface and, and, and dig it out if you need to. Yeah, but the, when, you, when you play on Tanadice, it's a different type of game when you're going to an Astro Tough pitch, so we just have to adapt to that. We managed to do that against you know, the Queen of the South down there. It's a different way of playing, something it's not the way we want to play, but ultimately it's about getting a result, so we'll go there on. Friday night, we know that Arlo are used to the surface, they move about it really well. We have to make sure we try and stop that and get a three points in the other road. Lawrence described it as a wee blip. Um, is it not nice, but is it quite helpful sometimes to get that result against our growth, get out of your system and kind of refocus everyone so they, they know what their levels have to be? Yeah, okay. We know that you know, we're not going to go through a full season winning every game. You know, there's going to be periods where we lose games, and it's important how we react to that and we bounce back as quick as possible. We had a little blip at the start of the season when they get beat off here down there quite convincingly. We were on a run. We did the same again after the Arlo and the Queen, Queen of the South games. We went on a run. So, you know, it's it's important that you get it out of your system as quick as you can. You move on and get a result the next week. So, we've got an opportunity to do that this Friday. Desperate luck in terms of injuries to your front men in, in the last few weeks, uh, but able to bring in uh, somebody of the quality of, of Rakesh. Why him particularly, and, and what do you hope he'll bring? Well, obviously, we're disappointed to lose uh, Nicky Clarton and Osman last week, both out for the season, but we're hoping that Nicky might get back towards the end of it. Uh, but we just needed pace and power up front. We said that at the start of the window, we'd looked about, we didn't get what we were looking for. Um, Rakesh became available, uh, and they brought him in. We're delighted. He's got good experience in, in the top flight. You know, he scores goals, he, he ticks a lot of boxes like we spoke about, the power, the pace, good in one of you in situations and a good character as well, so we're happy to get him. Obviously people know him from uh, playing at Hamilton where they were, you know, rushing to, to, to try and get uh, points in to avoid relegation. Do you think people will see a slightly different player unleashed uh, in a team that's, that's yeah, getting more chances? I think so, you know, it's a different, different positions within the league, you know, we, we brought Rakesh in to go use his pace and power in behind teams, you know, 1v1 situations and lead the line and lead in the wider areas as well. So he can definitely do that. He did it when he was doing at Doncaster recently. So I think he'll enjoy it here. And you were just talking about um, uh, Rakesh Bingham, the, the new signing. Is he a player that you look at as a short-term deal to, to try and get up or could he be a player that could be at the next season? I think that, that could be here next season for us. I think yeah, at the moment he has to come and prove what he can do. You know, he's been... Not played a huge amount of games this season. Um, 
they'll come in, they'll get game time, they've already seen what he can do in training and also his time at Hamilton previously. So we're looking at this as a, a you know, an opportunity for a longer term contract. And over the, the last few weeks, um, Dundee Wright maybe have dropped a, a few points, but the teams below you haven't really taken advantage of that. Does that give you any more assurance when you're dropping points and just the team aren't taking advantage? It's just, just the nature of the league. You know, we, we managed to get a, a good points total um, because we won consistently for a number of weeks. You know, and, and if a team does that, then they're going to pull away because the teams are so evenly matched. You know, you look at um, the previous week there, we are both at home for us and they come and beat us. You know, it happens in this league. There are a lot of tough teams to play against. All the teams are picking up points against each other, which means it's very, very difficult to go on a sustained run. That's why we have to you know, accept the last couple of performances that weren't at the level we want make sure we learn from it and then try and get back on that running. Again. Does your message to the players change at all on the on the back of the last few results compared to before? No, and I think that the, the key thing for me is consistency from, from the coaching staff and from myself that you know the players have been fantastic all season. There's going to be blips within that season. It's a long, hard season. It's you know it's difficult games. There's been games where we've played really well and we beat. There's been games where we've played really poorly and won. It's just the nature of the beast, but we have to make sure we're consistent and keep focused on the main objective, which is getting out of this league. How much more difficult is it for the team to win if the opposition scores first and then just sits in? Yes. You know, you find in any league, the team that scores the first goal, you know, percentage-wise, are generally going to win the game. You know, so it's up to us to then go and break teams down after that. You know, and you know they're well within their rights to time waste and kill the game, and make it very difficult. It's up to us to show that quality to try and break it down. I felt in the last couple of games we found it quite difficult. We've lost a number of attacking players, um, which loses that kind of edge and explosiveness up, up front. And that's why we brought in Lukic to try and give us that. A period will be back, McMahon will be back. You know, so there's three guys coming in that can give us that you know, explosion to go on beyond people and then we've got also Shanks to put the ball in there. Was it just really unlucky the last time that McMullen and the pair were out as well as what happened? I think when you look at it, the bigger picture of it, you know, with Stanton left, Cammy Smith left, Osmond So out, Clark out, Apiri out, McMullen out, you know, that's six players, attacking players that, you know, and no matter what team you're playing and it's going to take that little bit of edge away from you. So it was just a, a little difficult period we had there. We're now looking at, you know, Apiri back in, um, McMullen coming back in, bring them back in as well, so that gives us three more options in there and I look to bring maybe one more in as well. Will that affect obviously the way that you approach the game on uh, Friday night, obviously with the, with the view that Aloha are probably going to be quite defensive in a lot of the ways that they do, especially when they get the first goal? I think Aloha are, are a little bit different, you know, they, they, they control the game quite well, they've got Flannery and Harrington that drop in and they try and build it, you know, they've got some good players in the forward areas that have been quite consistent over the last couple of years, so I don't expect him to sit in maybe as much as other teams would. And what's the team use? All good. Yeah. I hope McMillan will get back. He'll train a little bit today. He'll train Thursday. My period is fine. Uh, other than that, I think it was that room, yeah. Just so and Clark. Uh, ah, the two, they, yeah, they've been the long term. Like I said, the Osman about for the season. Nicky, we're hoping that uh, he'll get back maybe for the last few weeks of the season, just to give him a wee bit of ground and to get back into pre-season and so on.